All right. Good morning, everybody. My name is Heather from With Love DC. Uh, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, With Love DC is a movement to spread love and joy and acceptance in the District of Columbia and throughout the whole world. Um, I always like to think of it like a butterfly effect, right? So when we get together and we cultivate a sense of love and community, we are able to bring that out into every other interaction we have throughout our day, throughout our week, throughout our month, into the rest of our lives, and that, um, that, that we can really bring about positive change that this world so desperately needs. Um, and I am so excited for you to be joining us this Saturday morning at our weekly class brought to you by the United States Botanic Garden, who we just love partnering with. And even though we are not physically in their beautiful space at the moment, um, I'm just so glad that we've been able to continue practicing together, even when we're physically separate. So I'll invite you just to join me in a moment of meditation before I turn things over to Holly. If you're lying flat on your mat, stay right where you are, stay comfortable. If you're sitting up though, maybe you find a slightly taller seat, let the crown of your head reach towards the sky. Maybe you place one hand and then the other hand over your heart, like you're holding on to your heart space. And then bring all the awareness to the sense in your body when you inhale, feeling the lungs, the ribs, the chest expand, and noticing what it feels like when you exhale. When I was thinking about what to offer as um, something to let our minds rest on in our meditation, I just kept coming back to this idea of how much work there is to do in the world, how much work so many people have already been doing in the world and how exhausting and tiring that can feel. And this idea that when we show up, we need to be full ourselves um, because if not, we'll just be depleted, that it's important to keep coming back to ourselves, taking care of ourselves, making sure that we are all right, that we are able to connect with our breath, connect with how we're feeling in each moment and be able to navigate situations. Um, and Holly does so much of this work all the time, helping people connect with their breath um, and move through really challenging emotions. Um, so I just wanted to invite everyone for the next 60 minutes to do whatever you need to do to just fill up your cup a little bit so that when you go back out into the world, when you leave your mat, we're a little bit more full and we have a little bit more energy and love to give as we do this work to heal and repair the things around us that need healing and repairing. So just take a few more breaths here, noticing your heartbeat, noticing your breath, Maybe asking yourself the question, what do I need in this moment? And then as I turn things over to Holly, um, I'll invite you, if you feel so moved, to go over to your chat box and just type in something that is making you feel grounded today in this crazy world where there is so much to knock us off center. Maybe we can let our mind rest on something that helps us feel centered and grounded. So if you feel called to share that in the chat box, you can do that. And what we've been doing the past few weeks is going back at the end of class and then reading through what everyone shared. Mm -hmm. And with that, I'll turn it over to Holly. Holly, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and I look forward to practicing with you. Thank you, Heather. Oh, man. Well, good morning. Welcome to the Urban Yoga Den. That is the moniker that I chose a number of years ago when I first um, started teaching yoga. And the essence 
of the urban yoga den is basically to respond to the world very much as it's been not just this week but for centuries to use yoga and related practices and resources to answer the needs of deep stress of tension of trauma and as a trauma survivor and trauma sensitive yoga teacher my aim is to bring those resources to you i'm really lucky um, to be teaching today because as heather referred to um it's been a week and throughout that week i have been holding space for others um by um you know doing the practices with them and so on i teach a I don't teach, I guide, I bring together people on Facebook Live at my um, Holly Myers page at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time to breathe. And we've been doing this for Mental Health Awareness Month. So the last day is tomorrow. We don't, I don't do it on Saturdays because it's like a Sabbath for me. It's when I get to feed myself on Saturdays, just like Heather was saying. And so I get to be here with you offering a very nourishing practice and um you know so i'll just say like from a very long time ago in my practicing world um so i've been practicing yoga for about 26 years um and very early on i came to understand its purpose for me and that it wouldn't be to you know have a nice body or anything like that it would be to help me as someone who survived trauma and someone who has lived with mental illness my whole life that yoga would be an imperative skill to add to the other skills that i have for not just responding when there are times that are heated or upsetting, but to create a daily routine of these resources and therefore have my responses to life in general and at all times shift from reactive and upset and at times suicidal, just putting it out there, to accepting and curious and mindful. So today's practice, I'm gonna get up. I'd love to just like sit here on my belly and talk to you guys all this time, but we need to practice. And so today's practice is all about nourishment. It's all about nourishment. And thank you. I've been reading all of the things that people have been putting up and I'm thrilled to hear that people are taking the time and taking deliberate effort to find connection, whether it's with your plants or your niece, you know, because we need that. We need that. Not Anyway, I'm sure everyone every week has talked about the pandemic, but it is an extremely separating phenomenon. And after a week like this, you know, we want to be together. And so take a comfortable seat. And I, you know, I always have a chair next to my practice space, which I recommend to you guys too. Um, Sitting for a while while your teacher is gabbing about their traumatic experiences <laughs> or teaching breathing can start to feel tiring. And so I like to have a chair close by, especially when we're going to open with some breathing practices. Kind of jumping on the tails of Heather's beautiful opening. So take a seat whether it's on a meditation cushion, on the ground, 
and feel in this seat a balance of being both rooted, right, and stabilized in the lower body. I like to lift my toes. If you're seated on the ground, you can flex your ankles to bring some awareness, some activation into the lower body. All right, and then in the upper body, bring some buoyancy. Reach the crown of the head toward the sky. Free the neck. Inhale through the nose, shrug the shoulders up to the ears, and then softly just let the shoulders move away from the ears. Direct the eyes downward or close them. Place one hand on the belly and the other on the heart. So with every practice that I teach, I always start with noticing our current state. No censoring, no editing, no pushing aside simply taking a sense of curiosity toward the person that we brought to class today exactly as they are. So with the eyes pointed downward or closed and some of the external distraction beginning to fade, come right inside to your mind. Be with your thoughts exactly as they are. Allow whatever is on your mind to arise. Be curious. Every thought is valid. Every thought is valuable information. So simply pay attention. to your valuable mind, just like it is right now. Expand your awareness to the body. Take a slow mental scan from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head, and as you go, notice the pulsing of your heartbeat through the entire body. Take your time. Those pulses of life are everywhere. Once you've scanned the body and acknowledged the life within it, without changing anything, notice your breathing. Just as it is. rather than judging the quality of the breath. Just like you did with the mind and the body, be curious. How am I naturally inclined to inhale and exhale? Take the next few moments to simply be and validate you.
exactly as you are right now. If you're not already, begin to breathe in and out of the nose. As you become comfortable breathing in and out of the nose, begin to expand every inhale by breathing deliberately into the belly hand, expanding the low lungs and up to the heart hand, expanding the upper lungs. Through the nose, release the air back down from the top of the torso to the bottom. Full lung capacity breathing in and out of the nose. Breathing into the low lungs, letting your belly hand rise, and then the upper lungs, letting the heart hand rise. Softly letting the heart hand fall, and then the belly as you breathe out of the nose. Continuing to shape the breath into full capacity breathing. Nourishing the lungs capacity. Strengthening the immune system with this fresh oxygen. As you breathe more and more deeply and long, notice the heartbeat, notice the pulses in the body, notice the mind, and how this deliberate yogic breathing nourishes and affects them positively. Take one more full capacity breath, belly to heart. At the top of the breath, hold the breath for a moment. Release the hands down to the knees or legs. And then through the nose, take a long and passive exhale. Just letting the breath lead naturally and flutter the eyes open or upward. Namaste. All right, so we'll begin a very, very soothing flow. It's a traditional Hatha yoga flow, sun salutations. And continue while you're doing this to just keep your reflection inward, right? Stay in the body, feel the pulses. In your own way, begin to make your way up to standing, whether you do that through a flow or whether you just roll over onto one hip and press yourself up, whatever it is, stay mindful, stay present with the breath and the pulse of your heart. So after we flow today, after we find this soothing effect of this natural and very classical Hatha flow, we'll also come down onto the ground for a huge part of this practice, laying down for Yoga Nidra, a guided deep relaxation that addresses tension, stress, and trauma. So before we flow, you might want to get a couple of props so that once we're finished flowing and we go to recline, you don't have to run around. You can keep that inward meditative state. And the two props that you might want are 
blanket or a thin cover, right? Because we um, will be laying still for about 20 minutes. And a pillow or a bolster or another blanket rolled up so that you can either put it underneath your head for support or underneath your knees once we lie down. So once you have those things close by, come on up to the top of your mat, finding mountain pose, feet a little bit apart and parallel, knee joints loose, quadriceps tight, lift the toes, just like when we were seated, activate the lower body, feeling roots extending from the hips down through the feet into the ground. And then uplifting from the crown of the head, allowing the shoulders to rest away from the ears. Inhale, press your palms together in front of your heart and take a long exhale here. As you inhale, reach your fingertips high, separate your palms, arms come alongside the ears. As you exhale, take a huge sway to your left or one side. I guess it doesn't matter if we're going left or right because we don't bump into anybody. Pause in your sway, lift your toes, remind your legs to participate here. Press into the soles of the feet, Reach your fingertips even farther away from your toes. Let your right hip go way out to the side, creating a larger crescent, huge stretch for the side body. After your next exhale, inhale back to the center. And then as you exhale, take it over to the other side. Lift the toes, press into the feet, reminding the legs to participate. Reach your fingertips as far away from your toes as you can. Outside hip, in this case, my left goes way out to the side, creating an even huger crescent. After your next exhale, inhale back up to the top. Exhale, press your palms together or take a swan dive, whatever works best for you. Forward fold. Look forward on your next inhale. Step your left foot straight back for a lunge, lowering the knee, lift the head lift the heart. As you exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhaling, flatten forward to plank pose. As you exhale, lower your knees right where they are and pause. Inhale, lift the tail, lift the chin. As you exhale, bend the elbows back, lay the heart down between the hands, let your chin touch in front of your mat. Sorry, it's dark. I'm going to turn on the light when I get back up. As you inhale, straighten the legs. Come to cobra pose. Just a baby cobra. Keep the belly on the ground. Let the digestion get a nice massage here as you breathe in and out of the nose. Deep, full capacity breaths. After your next breath in, curl the toes under and exhale back to downward facing dog. Three breaths here in downward facing dog. Continue to cultivate that inward feeling, that focus within. This whole flow is a meditation. After your next breath out, look forward, slowly walk your feet forward between the hands. Come to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Take a full exhale there, release the head completely, and then bend the knees deeply, keep the head heavy, and slowly roll your way up to standing. Head comes up last. Inhale here. Exhale, find your mountain, rooting down at the base, uplifting at the crest. Breathe your full capacity breaths. 
always knowing you can put your hands back on your belly and heart to remind yourself to use the full capacity of the lungs and also to acknowledge the connection between your groundedness and your buoyancy. Inhale, palms to the heart center and exhale here. Inhale, reach your fingertips high, arms come alongside the ears, separate the palms. One breath, exhale, sway to the left. Inhale, back up to the sky and exhale to your right. Inhale back up to the sky, press the palms together, or take a big swan dive, forward fold. On your next inhale, step your right foot back for a lunge, back knee touching, head and heart rise. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, flatten forward to plank. On one exhale now, lower your knees, lift your chin and tail, lower your chest and chin to the mat, and then inhale to your cobra for one breath in, exhaling back to downward facing dog. Three breaths here in your downward dog. See if you can continue to breathe in and out of the nose regulating the breath and sustaining your energy instead of letting it burn out. At the end of your third breath out, slowly walk the feet forward, literally as if you are taking a walk somewhere that you'd like to be, maybe in nature, maybe you are in nature, Whenever you get to the top of your mat, exhale and release the head completely. As you inhale, rise on up, straight legs this time. And exhale, palms to the heart center. Deep breath in. Exhale, release the arms to the sides. Find your mountain, find your breath. Notice your mind. So every time we come to the top of the mat, we have this opportunity to simply go back to that notion of curiosity, checking in with the mind, the body, and the breath. And in the body and the breath, shaping it deliberately for this yogic activity. And I encourage you to continue to allow the mind to just flow along and just notice its evolution as we practice meditatively. So we're simply going to repeat that flow. We're gonna build a little heat, but also continue with that very nourishing approach. Inhale, palms to the heart center. Exhale here. As you inhale, reach the fingertips high, separate the palms. As you exhale, take that big sway to one side. Inhaling back to the center and exhaling to the other side. Inhale back to the center. As you exhale, take your forward fold. Inhale, left foot lunge. Back knee touching, head and heart rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to your baby cobra. Keep it simple, keep it low. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths in downward facing dog. And then once you're finished with your third breath out, take that meditative walk forward, coming to your forward fold. 
options here are to bend the knees and roll your way up to standing as you breathe in, or to keep the legs firm and straight and rise up with a flat back. Exhaling, palms to the heart center. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, sway. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, sway. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. You'll notice as we go along in the flow, I'm taking out instruction. so that eventually we'll be able to flow in silence for a few repetitions. At the end of your next breath out, take your meditative walk toward the top of your mat, coming to your forward fold. Once in your forward fold, exhale all the way, release the head, and then either roll your way up or come up with a flat back, exhaling palms to the heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sway. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sway. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, flatten to plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. At the end of your third exhale, take your walk to the forward fold at the top of your mat. Whenever you reach your forward fold, Exhale, completely release the head. And then inhale, rise on up. Exhaling, palms to the heart center. Inhale. Reach, exhale, sway. Inhale. Exhale, other side. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Dog for three breaths. At the end of your third breath out, take your meditative walk to the top of the mat. 
Bend your knees, or come up in a flat back on a breath in. Exhale, palms to the heart center. So for the next two repetitions, I invite you to either repeat this classic sun salutation that we've been doing once, stepping the left foot back and forward, and next, stepping the right foot back and then forward. Or if you would like to do a different flow, two repetitions, go from there. We'll meet back here in mountain pose, but let's begin together. So find the stability in the lower body, rooting down. As we move into these last two flows, these last two vinyasas, picture the roots that you're extending into the earth finding their way to everyone else that you're practicing with this morning. Create a big, tangly mess of intention under the earth. Everyone here for similar reasons, for perhaps reasons that we can't share. perhaps reasons that we have never felt comfortable sharing and perhaps we're going to begin sharing. And feel those roots being lovingly entwined. Reach the crown of your head high. So together, let's inhale and reach high. Lift the heart. And then continue with your two flows on your own. Finding your way through that second flow. Allow the breath to stay regulated in and out of the nose using full lung capacity in from the low lungs to the top out from top to bottom. Finding your way to the close of your second flow and to the top of your mat in mountain pose. Once there, again, close your eyes or direct them downward. One hand on the belly, the other on the heart. Regulating the breath. Every exhale, emptying. Every inhale, complete. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And in the mind's eye, envisioning and acknowledging all the roots of all the yogis connected beneath the earth. Deep breath in, 
Exhale, release the hands, gently open the eyes. Begin to make your way into Savasana. So if you can, I think it would be awesome for everyone to have their heads closer to their computer or phone and their feet away. And that way we're creating this energy of all of the crowns of our heads sort of directing toward each other. So again, placing your mat, setting up your space to lay down on your back, head toward your computer or phone, feet away, finding your blanket or cover to cover yourself up in order to feel warm, even if you're feeling warm, because the body temperature will definitely drop as we sit in stillness, as it does. Whenever you reach your reclined pose, Come right back to those deep breaths. One hand on the belly, the other on the heart. Come right back to feeling the pulse of the heart through the whole body. Come right back to feeling your groundedness and stability and its connection in the back of the body down into the earth to reach its roots to everyone in this practice today. Point the gaze of the eyes upward toward the brow. Right there at your inner vision, in your mind's eye, see your sankalpa. Take the next few moments to cultivate a positive statement. Allow it to come to you intuitively rather than trying hard to create the perfect intention. What arises first? It might be, I am resting today, instead of, today I will make a statement. See what intuitively arises in the fire of your belly, in the passion of your heart, and in the clarity of your mind. And allow that sankalpa, that resolved intention, to settle right there at the third eye, this point of infinity, of concentration, See this statement as if written in your own handwriting across the screen of your inner vision. Allow the eyes and the mind to rest right where they are. After your next deep breath in, Release the hands to the side of the body. As we come into our yoga nidra practice, bring your awareness to the legs, allowing the rest of the body to remain passive. Point your toes and stretch the legs. Let this activation start at the hips. Breathe deeply and stretch. At the top of your next breath in, hold the breath. 
tense the legs, squeezing everything from hips to feet. Hold the body, hold the breath. Open the mouth. <sighs> Let it go. Forget about the legs. Take any final little wiggles or rolls that you need and just let the legs be. Bring your awareness to your arms and hands. With the rest of the body remaining passive, stretch your arms from shoulders to fingertips down toward the toes, breathing deeply. At the top of your next breath in, hold the breath. Make fists with the hands, squeeze up to the shoulders, hold the body, hold the breath. Open the mouth, let it go. Take any little wiggles or rolls that you need to and just let the arms be. Bring your awareness to the torso. Allowing the rest of the body to remain passive. Inhale your deepest breath so far. Sip in a little more air. And while holding the breath, tense the buttocks, tense the belly. Expand the rib cage. Open the mouth. <laughs> Let it go. Deliberately allow the breath to rest in the low lungs. So just the belly softly rises and falls. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, softly release them down toward the waist. Gently rock your head from side to side to release the neck. And then allow the head to rest with the face pointing toward the sky. Resting the awareness on the face. Stretch it long, stick out the tongue, try to touch the chin, raise the eyebrows, long stretching face as you breathe deeply. Inhale and hold, squish the face toward the nose. <sighs> Let it go. As I name a part of the body, its only job is to melt away and release into effortlessness. The skull softens and melts. All the muscles of the face throat to neck, shoulders, rib cage, lower torso, arms, hands, hips, legs, feet, the whole back of the body, from the back of the skull to the heels, becomes heavy and soft. The whole front of the body, from the forehead down to the toes, becomes heavy 
and soft. The whole body. The whole body. From the crown of the head through its core down to the soles of the feet. Release. 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 Acknowledge your sankalpa there at the third eye. And then on your next soft breath out, also invite the mind to rest. Mind at rest, body at rest, breath at rest, rest, rest. Point the gaze of your eyes upward toward the brow. And there at your mind's eye, see your sankalpa, your resolved purpose, written in your own handwriting. There at your mind's eye. Begin to acknowledge the pulses of the heartbeat throughout the entire body. And connect that pulse of life and energy to your sankalpa. Begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. 
and gently rock your head from side to side. Reach your arms back behind your body or up toward the sky. Through the nose, take a huge breath in, full capacity lungs. Through the nose, let it go. And begin to cultivate this deep inhaling from belly to heart and long emptying exhaling from heart to belly. As the pulse of the heartbeat energizes your intention, allow your breath to also empower it, breathing life into it. Sustaining this meditative state, this inward focus in your own way and taking your time, begin to rise up into a seated pose. Whenever you reach your seated pose, find that connection of your lower body rooting down, connecting you to our whole community of practice today. Find your connection to the skies by reaching the crown of the head high. Allow the gaze to remain upward toward the brow, focusing intently on your sankalpa and the breath to infuse it with life. A few more breaths, introducing a Cooling breathing practice to close. As you breathe in, open the mouth and cool the tongue. Close the mouth, breathe out of the nose. And continue this cooling breath, opening the mouth to breathe in through or over the tongue holding it down. Close the mouth to contain that coolness. Let that hot air leave through the nose. One more breath like this. At the end of this exhale, press your palms together in front of your heart and bow your head. Please take this moment to thank and honor yourself for committing to your practice this morning. Gently open the eyes, raise the chin. Imagine seeing everyone that's practicing with us in community and thank them for committing to their practices this morning and therefore to yours. Om Shanti, peace. Namaste. Thank you. So much for that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful practice. Um, thank you everyone for joining. Um, as I said, I would go back um, at the end of class and I will read through some of the beautiful things everyone shared, um, the things that were helping everyone feel their most centered and grounded. Some things people said were continuing this practice on Saturday mornings, watering my plants, 
my sister and niece joining the class from Boulder, Colorado with me in DC, nice, my friends nice. who give us ways to help family, daily walks outside, the power of nature, birds, insects, plants, sunshine, nature, this yoga session, my herb garden, the warmth <laughs> of the sun on a beautiful day in the DC area, phone calls with my sister before yoga class, um, feeling grounded by the warm sunshine and sounds of chirping birds on my balcony, uh, <laughs> letting joy and love be your guide. Um, someone is feeling hopeful because so many new community leaders are emerging to face challenges, nature, especially bird songs, um, yoga and meditation, yoga practices, and someone shared that they're halfway through their first electroconvulsion therapy treatment um, at this time. So just sending healing love and energy to you during that. Um, thank you all so much for joining. Um, Holly, if you would like to just type in your website or email, just any way that people can get in touch with you. Um, yeah. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll leave class open for another few minutes so people can share. Oh, someone said they're grateful. Their one-year-old daughter attempted to practice. With <laughs> I saw that. Thank you so much for sharing that, Lori. That's really beautiful. Um, someone asked if we record these classes, and we do almost every week. Sometimes I mess up the recordings, but they are mostly all recorded. Uh, you could go to the With Love website and those links are live for like the couple weeks after class until I run out of room on my Zoom and then I have to delete them. And then they're always available on the US Botanic Garden website. They're uploading the videos and um, you can always practice with them along at the Botanic Garden website too. So thank you guys all so much. Um, yeah, thanks Holly. Yeah, of course. I'm typing right now so I can't You're see good. you. But I wanted to, um, you know, if it's okay, also just let people know, um, I'm putting my name and my email address into the chat so that if people want to reach out with questions about our practice or questions about other uh, times that I teach. Um, and then I'll also put that information into the chat, although I'm really a slow typer. So I'm... I'll just say it as I'm typing it. I'm sorry for my frozen image. Um, so everyday breathing is tomorrow, Sunday, 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. on Facebook Live at, um, at my personal page at Holly Myers. And then um, those videos that I've been doing, the everyday breathing videos that I've been doing for Mental Health Awareness Month, they sit there on that page. And then they also are posted on my yoga page, which is urban, <laughs> as I try to type, urban yoga den. And then in parentheses, my name, Holly Myers, also on Facebook. So if you want to access any of those breathing videos that I've done for uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, which ends tomorrow, so our last practice is tomorrow. And then in addition, I'm just gonna come back on to your my face, hello. Um, in addition, um, if it's okay, can I, can I tell, talk about the yoga nidra class that I do? Um, sure. Let me just say for anyone who's on, I know some people asked if we're going to continue these classes virtually and the answer is yes. So um, you just have to sign up once. So the fact that you're all here, it means that you've already signed up and you can use the same link um, week to week um, as long as you log in before 99 other people. So there's still a hundred person limit but we are going to be continuing the virtual classes and I'll be updating the with love calendar to reflect that soon. So thank you for everyone who was like waiting to the answer to that question. And then yeah, Holly, <laughs> take it away. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so if you, I'm typing again, which is why my, this, my video looks weird. Um, FYI, um, if you liked the guided deep relaxation at the end, the yoga nidra practice, I teach that every Friday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for a studio here in the D.C. area called um, Simon Says Yoga. And like many other small studios, Simon Says has been um, really, you know, struggling during this time. And it's a women-owned, independent um, studio. So if you want to, you know, support not only your individual teachers, right, but if you want to support a, a women-owned local um, studio, I just threw that information up onto the chat, too. And, um, yeah, Heather, thank you so much. This is just an incredible, you know, whether we're all together in the garden or whether we're here with people all over the place. I love that people can come in from all over. So um, I saw some people from Austin. I'm just gonna show you my Patty Griffin t-shirt. So <laughs> um, when do I, I teach again in August, right? Right after my birthday, I teach. Uh, my practices are always come as you are. You'll notice like I teach in jeans and band t-shirts all the time. So, you know, no fancy, nothing. Just show up and breathe and move a little. So, Heather, thank you so much. Really thank beautiful. Thank you, Holly. That's why I love, love getting to have you come and share your practice <laughs> with this community because it's just so beautiful and you always have so much wisdom to share and it's always the right thing. Um, someone said, I greatly needed the mental health slant on this day and I think many of us did and so I just feel so honored and like the synchronicity that this would be the day that you were already scheduled to teach it felt perfect and right and so thank you for showing up as you always do authentically and genuinely um and beautifully as yourself so thank you thanks thank you thank you everybody you august and bye everybody thank you so much for joining i love you all and we will see you here next saturday bye bye